Hello everyone, this is your instructor Farwa Batool and welcome to the course of O-Levels Computer Science. So today in this video, we are going to start another topic that is Joint Photographic Experts Group Files or JPEG files, right? So we will see what a JPEG file format is. Okay, uh, well, the JPEG file format is basically used to store images, right? It's a file format that is used to store images, photos, right? So before going into detail of this particular file format, let me explain you how these images are being displayed on a computer screen, right? And what a resolution is because it is important for this particular topic of JPEG. You must know the understanding of resolution, what a resolution resolution of an image stands for. Okay, let's suppose it's a computer and I am displaying some kind of image in that. Okay, so let's suppose there is an image in this computer screen that is being displayed and a Sindri type image, right? So the point is that whenever you see an image on a computer screen, this is not that image. It is basically the pixels that you sh that you are watching because uh, an image is nothing but it's a collection of pixels that are organized collection it's a collection of pixels that are being organized in a in the form of raw and column right it is being organized in this way it's a number of pixels that are being arranged in rows and columns that makes up an image okay now what a pixel is a pixel is nothing but it's a tiny dot that has uh, two properties one a pixel has a definite color it can be any color red blue green any kind of color that uh, is basically displayed on a screen right then the second thing is the location a pixel has a location uh, that can be any location in that particular screen right so these are the two uh, spec and specifications for this pixel right and a number of pixels makes up an image now what is a resolution here the term resolution stands for the number of pixels in an image right a resolution is nothing but a number of pixels in an image for example if I say that I have an image that is 2048 Let's suppose I, I have an image that is 2048 pixels wide and uh, 1536 pixels long or high, right? Let's suppose I have an image that is 2048 pixels wide and 1536 pixels high. Then what it means? It means that if a picture is this much wide, it means that 2048 pixels are there in, in a row because this is what we call a width, right? So it is going to have 2048 pixels in a row. And if it is 1536 pixels high, then height is this, right? From top to bottom. So it is going to have 1536 pixels in one column, right? In a particular column. Okay, so in order to find out the number of pixels that are in this particular image, we know that in one row there are 2048 pixels, in one column there are 1536 pixels. So we need to multiply both these rows and columns in order to find the total number of pixels that are being uh, displayed on the screen or that are making up this particular picture right so uh, we can say that this picture has 2048 into 1536 pixels 
so this is what we call a resolution is right why because these are the number of pixels 2048 into 1536 pixels right or in terms of number it can become 3145728 if we calculate this right so the this is the calculation this number of pixels are there in this particular image that uh, that is having 2048 pixels in a raw and 1536 pixels in a column right so the resolution is basically the number of pixels right or it is written in this particular format right a resolution is written is always written in this particular format it always specifies this one is for pixels in a raw and the second number represents pixels in a column in a column right so this is how we represent a resolution right so for example i have another image that is 500 pixels wide and 300 pixels uh, high right so for the resolution i can say that it is 500 into 300 right the resolution of this particular image would be 500 into 300 pixels right so this is about the resolution now i am just erasing it i hope that it has been clear to you now moving towards jpeg images okay the jpeg file format is used to store the images and why is it used the major thing that is hidden in this particular format is that it basically compresses the images why because it compresses the image in order to reduce the file size to reduce the file size so that it can occupy less storage in a computer right it can occupy less memory in a computer system so that is why a jpeg file format is used to compress the images right and in other words it basically reduces the uh reduces the quality right why because it is reducing the number of pixels in compression when you reduce the file size it means that you are reducing the number of pixels because these are the pixels that are being stored in a memory so if you are reducing number of pixels then it will definitely be uh, taking lesser space memory space in order to store that number of pixels right so uh, it definitely it's a trade-off when you are reducing the file size you are reducing the quality of the image but in jpeg images a quality is uh, not that much uh, we can say compromise it is just uh, in a limit you can uh, see the image uh, even after the compression even even after you are converting the image in jpeg format still it has a reasonable quality uh, it, that is satisfying to a to a user right it it has a satisfying quality not too much quality has been compromised in this particular format right so okay the next thing is that uh, let's suppose I am uh, I am reducing the file size uh, or simply I'm compressing an image then there must be a compress compressing algorithm right in order to reduce the image or compress the image there must be a compressing compression algorithm sorry it's not compressing it must be a compression algorithm and for a JPEG image it's a lossy file compression okay the algorithm that is being used it follows the lossy file compression let me tell you what this lossy file compression means it means that if you are converting a big image into 
a jpeg image right for example it's a bit bitmap a bitmap is a high quality image right and you are converting it into jpeg you are definitely reducing the file size compressing the uh, image right so the image that is being converted the bitmap in image is converted into jpeg but keep in mind that due to this lossy file compression you can never recover this original image right you are going to have another image right in a jpeg format that can never be converted back into a original image that's why we are saying that it's a lossy file compression why because we cannot recover the original image right the high resolution image so that's why the algorithm that is being used in jpeg images are lossy file compression right this is the important thing okay now another thing is the extension file extension uh, file extension is something that recognizes the file format right it is the end of the or suffix of the image name right file name let's suppose i have an image with the name apple.jpg or apple.jpeg then this particular thing dot jpg or dot jpeg this is known as the file extension it is the extension for jpeg images right you can recognize this particular image by looking at the extension of this if an image has dot jpg or dot jpeg extension then that image is basically a jpeg image right okay now i am going to explain an example to you uh, uh, an example in which we are converting a bitmap image into a jpeg image and we will look at the file uh, storage or the file size reduction right we are going to see how the uh, storage is being reduced file storage in this particular conversion right so let's see that okay so here we have let's suppose i have a high resolution image that can be a bitmap image right uh, okay or a, it can be bmp or a tiff that or tiff image right these images are basically high resolution images why because they does not go any kind of compression they occupy a very big file storage right very big memory in order to store that particular image so due to uh, because they are not going to any kind of compression that's why these are high resolution images and in this example we are going to convert a bitmap or a tiff image into a jpeg image right i'm going to convert this particular image into a jpeg image that is a low resolution image right okay it's a high resolution it is going to convert into a jpeg okay for example i have an image that is 2048 into 1536 pixels in terms of its resolution right and when i am going to convert it into a jpeg then definitely it is going to reduce its uh, file size okay let's see uh, let's suppose i have a factor i can say that uh, when i will convert this particular image into a jpeg it will be reduced uh, with a factor of 5 to 15 in between 5 to 15 i am going to explain you this uh, later on right so let us first calculate the total number of pixels i am just going to multiply this i will get 3 1 4 5 7 2 8 pixels it means this particular image is having these pixels or in terms of megapixels i can say that 1 z 1 2 3 4 5 6 i have 6 uh, places over here 6 zeros for example then i can say that it's 3 megapixel why because keep in mind that 1000 
pixel equals to 1 kilopixel and 1000 into 1000 equals to 1 megapixel right so since it is 3000 right 3000 into 1000 or i can say for example it is 1 2 3 4 5 6 that is multiplied by 3 right so it is 3 megapixels so this is approximately equals to 3 megapixel not very much equal why because it is having some uh, more value more than 3 million right so that is why it is slightly greater than uh, 3 megapixel but just we are in order to explain you I am just converting it into megapixel that is equal to approximately equals to 3 megapixel right so the point here is that let me convert it into file size or in terms of bytes right how can I convert it at keep in mind that one pixel takes three bytes right one pixel takes three bytes to store similarly if i have three megapixel image then three megapixel into three that is going to have nine megabytes right i am converting it into bytes in order to find the file size right so this particular bitmap or tiff image is going to have three megabyte of file size it needs this much memory in order to store this image right i need nine megabytes of a computer memory in order to store this particular image now if i say that this image can be reduced by a factor of 5 to 15 then what it means it means that if i just divide this particular memory size 9 megapix megabytes 9 MB if divided by 5 it will be giving me 1.5 right similarly um, sorry it's not 1.5 it's 1.8 okay similarly if I have sorry for this okay if I have this 15 and I am just 9 mega byte when divided by 15 it is going to give me 0.6 right megabyte and 0 0.6 megabyte so this is what i want to show you that if this particular file size is being converted this particular image is being converted into jpeg image then the file size will be reduced by a factor of 5 to 15 and what it means it means that if this image is going to have 9 megabyte of memory then this image or the converted image is going to have 0.6 to 1.8 megabyte of a memory right so can you imagine that how much compressed this particular image is right the 9 megapixels megabytes is a very huge value whereas 0.6 and 1.8 megabytes is not that much big right so this is how we compress a bitmap or a tiff image into a jpeg image right so uh, i hope the jpeg file format is clear to you the very important or very we can say common use of this particular format is that it is used because it compresses the image to a very greater ex extent it compresses the file size and therefore it is easier to store these particular images in memory right so that is why due to its compression right that's why we use this particular file format so i hope the jpeg file format is clear to you and um, i hope this particular problem is also clear to you and in this problem what we have uh, what i have explained is that how i am uh, reducing the file size of an image right so i hope the concept is clear thank you so much for watching it and if you have any question any query about this video you can comment below i am going to answer you right so thank you so much for watching it please stay tuned stay connected in sh and share my videos to other students as well take care